Hey everyone, have a high here. Be another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the Extreme Z Awakening 2 LR Physical Bardock. We're going to be doing a full breakdown, talk about some link partners, talk about some maybe some team builds, just overall usefulness for this unit. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, I know that this information dropped like last night, late to the game on the discussion, but I wanted to at least give you guys my thoughts, my... Uh, in assist initial reactions to this EZA, which in reality, they did a great job. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting unit. We haven't done testing on this yet, but it seems like he's going to hit really hard and uh, thrash Frieza units, just like the new Super Saiyan uh, LR Int Goku. So uh, this unit here is a uh, Neo 100 LR. That's what I call these units here. And a lot of people ended up predicting that this unit uh, will be the Extreme Z Awakening LR for the celebration. It was either this or Trunks. Trunks didn't make any sense. So this one actually does, uh, of course, being a Namek Saga, uh, you know, this with Frieza and his, you know, flashback to uh, to Bardock here. And uh, what I mean by Neo 100, this is the grouping here. As you can see, you can see all the Extreme Z Awakenings that has happened. Now this is on JP version of the game. Um, you know, Global hasn't, you know, hasn't gotten a few of these uh, EZAs yet or actually just just the uh, EZA, oh yeah, Majin Vegeta and um, Gohan there, but um, the OG-90, there's two left, right? There's going to be Trunks and Rosmasu, and I think the next celebration is probably going to lean toward maybe Rosmasu. It's going to be very interesting. When he LRs, it's going to be very, very good. Now, the Neo 100 for Bardock, it makes sense for, this, for them to do it here because this unit was the kind of outlier when it comes to the Neo 100. It didn't make any sense. It shouldn't have been Bardock and it came out before Cell. Uh, it should have been Cell for the physical because the OG 90s and the Neo 100s, it was a mirror image of each other when it came to class types, right? So you had Extreme AGL for Majin Vegeta and then you had the other side, the Super AGL as the Neo 100. And you can see it kind of just went back and forth. Um, but then Bardock came out, I was like, wait a minute, that messed up the entire pattern, and then Cell came out, I was like, okay, that makes sense, so Bardock ended up being the outlier of it all, and that's what he's been for quite some time as an LR, not being useful at all, but now, now with his EZA, he becomes a lot more useful, the dazzling life force Bardock, let's go ahead and break down this unit uh, in of itself, so let's make this a little bigger so everyone can see here. So now we know the the Neo 100s. They're going to be the leader skill is going to be uh, increased to key plus four HP, attack and defense 120 percent for the class type. Um, this in, in this case super, and then an extreme uh, class physical here, key plus three HP, attack defense 90 percent. I wish they would have maybe moved that to a hundred. Uh, I think it would have made it a little bit more useful, a little bit more combinations of, of teams that you can run. 120 at this current meta, you're just never really going to run it except for maybe Battlefield, and that's pretty much about it. Because mono mono teams, you're just not running at this point in time. Now, everything else. They did a great job. So super attack, uh, which is a 12 key here, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, which is a increase of 50%. So that defensive uh, increase at 50% there is very, very beneficial for the final spirit cannon and um, also causes colossal damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense. Now the ultra super attack is the uh, 18 key here. It only raises defense, so no attack uh, additional attack benefit there, which is fine. And that raises defense is only a 30% increase versus a 50% increase, but you also cause mega colossal damage to the enemy and seals the enemy's uh, super attack. So, you know, you can kind of pick and choose uh, what you want to do here. Now, the passive skill is going to really, uh, really be, I think, definitely more beneficial for a um, super battle road because of the defensive buff that it has here when you have uh, facing two or more enemies. But this is going to hit really hard for uh, if you're fighting against Frieza. So uh, the passive skill is attack and defense 100%. So that's a solid uh, buff there. Um, but you're going to get an additional 20% at the start of each turn to attack up to 59%. So here's where I wish they would have done attack and defense here. Uh, it would have been nice to see attack and defense um, uh, up to uh, 50, well, you know, 59%. So that would have really, really uh, boosted the uh, the unit even more on the defensive end. Uh, plus an additional attack 40% when performing ultra super attack. So once again, that's why you're not getting that additional greatly raises attack from the 12 key versus the 18 key because you're going to get a passive boost when you're doing a ultra super attack there with a 40% to attack, which is way better on the passive than the SA multiplier. So 
Um, so yeah, I, I think adding a little bit of defense would have been beneficial because here's the thing, when you're facing one enemy, you're gonna get a key plus six, um, even when you're facing one enemy, but if you're facing two or more, you're gonna get 70% to defense. So he's gonna be a lot more tankier uh, during Extreme Super Battle Roads or Super Battle Roads uh, because you're gonna be fighting multiple enemies, but you do have to watch out because if one person dies, his defense drops by 70%. So um, <laughs> big difference when it comes to tanking you know, uh, attacks, especially in that mode there. So uh, that's why I wish they would have added like plus an additional attack and defense 20% at the start of each turn up to 59% would have been more beneficial so you know having some additional attacks would be would be nice to get that um extra defensive boost so you can get a if you do an ultra super attack you're gonna get a 30 percent boost and then you can get a 50 percent boost if you do an additional attack uh on there so anyway uh when i mentioned he's gonna wreck frieza units here we go it performs critical hit every time you're fighting a frieza unit so there you go uh, frieza soldier excluded of course and then this weird scenario here not weird because it makes sense with this one final shot from Bardock, right? You know, what, what you see on the card art there, uh, which is amazing card art, by the way. It's key plus 12, attack 100% when there's enemies whose name is Frieza, but it's once only. So you start the battle off and you're fighting weak Frieza, like, you know, first form Frieza or something of that nature. You're just gonna wreck that unit there and then you're never gonna get that buff again. I wish it would be uh, first turn only, like one turn only. But every time you're fighting a new, you know, f you know, fight, you're gonna get that boost for that one shot, uh, or made it made it an active skill. So it's interesting why they didn't do it that way. But anyway, either way, this unit is a huge, huge upgrade and definitely more usable now than it was previously uh, in non EZA. So I think they did a good job on this unit here uh, overall, especially with that 70% defense when you're facing two enemies or more, he's going to be fantastic, but a little extra boost on defense would have been nice to see on that, uh, on that plus, um, 20% for each turn. So, uh, link skills, same warrior race, same lineage, team Bardock, same pride, prepare for battle, shattering, limit, legendary power. We'll talk about the link partners in a second there. At least this unit here has a lot of categories or at least more categories than other uh, LRs that you, you normally come across here, and that's low class warrior, pure Saiyans, Goku's family, uh, Team Bardock, all out struggle, space traveling warriors, connected hope, and story figures. Now, the problem is low class warrior and Team Bardock, those are generally going to be free to play type teams, and if you have this unit, it's going to make those teams incredibly, incredibly strong, but only in that one rotation. So, pure Saiyans, Goku's family, uh, you'll see more of all out struggle, space traveling warriors, connected hope, story figures, you know, a lot less. Uh, especially if if you're only running like a 150 all out struggle uh, story figures, I think it's only 130, right? No, 150 for story figures as well. So, um, but 170 for space traveling warriors and Goku's family pure Saiyans on JP, not on global yet. Uh, and connected hope, uh, it's going to be very interesting on that team there. So, uh, stats are okay, right? It's 19,000 for HP, 21,000 for attack is really good, and 15,000 straight up for defense is really good. So I think the HP is a little bit low, uh, but when you average it out, it's it's kind of low when you average it all out comparable to other other LRs. So, but anyway, still they did a good job. Um, can't wait to see what the other Neo 100 is going to look like if this is kind of what they're going to be doing here. But like I said, this is an outlier unit initially from the start, and this is in a sense an outlier uh, EZA here on part three, I guess, in the 350 million dollar celebration. Let's talk about link partners here. I think that's important. The the, the unit that you're generally going to run this unit with as a support unit, and you're going to have a lot of links here, is going to be you know, the LR Team Bardock, of course. Um, the nice thing about this unit here, you're able to run him on uh, five different categories, right? The other units that I'm gonna be talking about, you're not gonna find too many other options than like Pure Saiyans and maybe Space Traveling Warriors. Um, so, and that's pretty much about it, right? So, uh, the, the great thing about this unit here, it's a 60% support buff for Bardock. So, yeah, when you're running this unit with with him he's gonna, just gonna be crushing units problem with the team bardock here um if you're gonna bring him the super battle road he's gonna get wrecked so you want to put maybe 20 dodge on him <laughs> so uh if you want to run him on a super battle road team as a support uh but if you're gonna put him on the main rotation he's gonna get wrecked uh six links here saying warrior race saying lineage team bardock uh, same pride prepare for battle legendary power so um on normal matches and things of that nature uh you're gonna have some fun 
uh, just wrecking, wrecking um, units on the amount of damage that this unit's going to provide. But defensively, um, you, you kind of don't want to bring this unit because he gets hit if you have 20% dodge. And then 20% dodge and, or 20 dodge and you want to actually um, put dodge on every single orb location that's when this is maybe maybe somewhat useful so uh on super battle and stuff like that anyway uh so six links for team bardock there uh and that's a free to play unit of course rainbow all the way through um the other one that you can run is a five link is a lr space traveling warriors there's other some other bardocks you can run on here but nothing really viable right you can bring um you know some of the free to play bardocks or team bardock members uh, on here i just didn't put them on here because once again if you're free to play yeah if you have this unit you're definitely going to put it on to uh the um the team bardock team but uh i wouldn't bring other units on there until they kind of like easy a into something you know more special right so uh anyway the uh the four links the four links uh are these units these are the lrs that are four links on here and there's a couple units that that are honorable mentions on here now the one LR here, the one unit that's going to be a little bit more useful than, oh, going back to uh, Gopunks uh, as the five link here, I did barely even talked about it, but it's, it, they're only on Space Traveling Warriors. So generally speaking, Space Traveling Warriors is an extreme team, so unlikely that you're going to be running that combo, but if you do want to, feel free to run that combo on uh, um, a Bojack team with uh, with these two as a main rotation. Be very, once again, very odd. But they, they do link up uh, with five links here. So anyway, back to the four links here. Everyone else is pretty much pure Saiyans that you're going to be running the team on with the four links there. Except for Majin Vegeta, which you're able to do, I believe, like... Uh, oh man, I, I, f I forgot to write that down. It's like three different categories. I think it's like Connected Hope? No, that's not Connected Hope. It's... Uh, uh, trying to remember which one. It's three categories. Um, that Maja Vegeta is on uh, connected with Bardock here. So everyone else, once again, is Pure Saiyans. That's generally what you're going to run here. You can run the the new Vegeta on Pure Saiyans and, and their four, four link connection there. So um, useful, you know, useful combination. Uh, I would say there's better combinations with some of these, but if you don't have the other combinations, you could use Bardock here. Uh, and then some other TURs that you're able to run would be, of course, Gine and Bardock uh, on there. And if they easy aid Super Saiyan, uh, physical Bardock there, the support unit. Uh, I think that would be a fantastic unit to run, especially for the four links, the support, and uh, it's physical as well. So if you want to run a mono team, you can run a mono team with that unit. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. When you come, when you think about overall usefulness of this, um, uh, you're, you're generally not going to run him on many teams. You have better options. However, this is just a fun unit, a, a more fun now than it was previous. That was absolutely worthless beforehand. Um, now you can actually run some combinations that, uh, if you're, you know, free to play, if you're just running like a Go Punks team kind of scenario, um, or I'm sorry, Go Punks as just a unit, and you want to link them up, you can do that. If uh, you're lucky enough to maybe pull this unit, and that's all you have for this LR, you can just run into Bardock. Uh, but Pure Saiyans as a combination, there's way better combinations of Pure Saiyans teams on there. But the Majin Vegeta and the Bardock one, uh, you have a few other options. Like, I'm trying to think. I can't even think now. I mean, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to add that info in here. Give me one second. Uh -huh. It is Pure Saiyans. Well, of course, we knew that. Um, All Out Struggle. I always forget All Out Struggle. All Out Struggle and Connected Hope. Those are the three uh, teams that you can run with Majin Vegeta and Bardock there. So those three teams, if you want to run the combinations on that, feel free to. Four links there. Um, they're both shattering the limit units. That's There's that extra nice link there. So, uh, But anyway, that's pretty much about it. I think they did a pretty good job. You know, A little bit more defense would have been nice, but this is definitely more of an outlier. You're going to attack, do a lot of damage. Um, it's going to be interesting to see in the testing videos and seeing how much damage he's going to do, especially on a Frieza uh, uh, unit. But uh, but yeah, for a OG Neo 100 uh, back in the day, this is a absolute huge upgrade for him. And uh, once again, it'll be interesting seeing the rest of the upgrade. So tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. Um, and how are you going to be running Bardock uh, if you do have them? So with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.